Good morning. <laughs> or afternoon. Or evening, depending on where you are. Yeah, whatever time you watch this. So today I have my friend Cody with me. Cody uh, and I are uh, at a level at which it is probably appropriate to do the best friend tag. Yeah, which is uh, news to Cody. He didn't know, so <laughs> so here we go. When and how did we first meet? Well, I would say that it was fall 2012. Yeah, it's my first semester in college. Um, I came in and I was in the men's ensemble. Uh, yeah, and we sang, and that's the first time I met Terry. Heard his beautiful voice, <laughs> supreme tenor. Mm. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not exactly sure, like the exact moment at which our friendship happened, but that's how we first met. It was like uh, we were in men's, and I think one of our like. It was Joseph. Was it Joseph? McBrayer. Yeah. Uh, Joseph McBrayer, who is a mutual friend of ours, he actually introduced us to each other. So that's how we came up with that. What are three things that you could not live without? That I couldn't live without? So the three things you would bring with you. Hmm. Um. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, this is always a hard question for me, because I want to bring a lot of things. <laughs> um, but I can only bring the three, so I guess uh, it would have to be... Well, we'll start with the obvious, so like, family. If I could bring all of them, that would be great. Um, I don't know, I just wouldn't want to be, like, alone. And, like, a, a an animal would just be weird. Because, like, you'd, you'd probably go crazy, you'd just start talking, and it would... <laughs> Mamet Wilson or something. <laughs> unlimited sweet tea. <laughs> yeah. Or an unlimited supply of fresh drinking water with the ability to make tea. <laughs> I'd say that. Who is it? It's probably Elliot. It's really awkward. Oh. Hey, uh, turn it. Did I lock the door? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, things are good. Um, yeah. Okay, so a fresh supply of drinking water with the ability to make sweet tea. So, okay, okay. like, so you wouldn't die of dehydration, but you could also enjoy sweet tea. I don't know, I guess that counts as two and three, because, like, water is a separate thing than, like, all the tea ingredients, so I guess that works, right? Yeah. Does your friend, your best friend, have any strange phobias? Um, clowns. Like, I, I clowns. Wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's strange. Okay, well, it's, like, my only phobia. Um, okay. If you ever watch Stephen King's It?, uh, if you have, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not, don't watch it because you'll be scared of clowns. And it's really tragic. I can't go to like clown. I can't go to like clown school anymore. That was a dream oh, of mine. Oh man, I can't. Uh, <laughs> can't go to like birthday parties sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> or I like, feel that. or the circus. Circus is just no just go. A no. -go. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So it's a really weird thing because it, it impedes me on a lot of different levels that you wouldn't think. Hmm. Okay. Also, the sounds of balloon popping. Yeah. For those yeah. That watch the movie. I mm -hmm. hate that. <laughs> actually, like I have an irrational fear of balloons popping. Actually, <laughs> I do because I hate the like just the anticipation of knowing that there is a possibility that a balloon could pop, which is why I could never be like a balloon artist. <laughs> it, I would just be so like nervous all the time. What is your best friend really bad at? Actually, I'm really good at procrastinating. What's the opposite of procrastinating? Um, being productive. I'm really terrible at being productive. <laughs> <laughs> Productivity and I just aren't on good terms right now. Like before a test, I was my, I was walking, I was like doing homework. Like 10 minutes before the test and my teacher walks by and he was like, uh, you ready for the test? I was like, I'm doing the homework, so. <laughs> he was like, that was due like two weeks ago. And I was like, well. Oh, what is one thing that annoys you most about your best friend? Okay. So on the count of three, yeah, sure. One, One two, two, three. three. Nothing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
For those of you who are unaware, <laughs> it's, it's happening currently. Oh, this is embarrassing. So, so yeah. I mean, oh. it's, it's, it's more of a mild annoyance. It wouldn't be on, like, a list of things that I would just want to eliminate from my life completely. But it's definitely one of those things, like, if we're out in public and Cody just gets tickled by something. Tickled thing. Yeah. He'll just, uh, he'll get, he'll start laughing real hard, <clears throat> like so. That's, like, that's the mild case of, like, the laugh. What really annoys me about you? Um... You can be real. The fact that you're not in the music program, so I can't see this. <laughs> That's it. Um, Terrier could go back in time and meet anybody. Who would you and why? Uh, Walt Disney. Oh, I'd want to go back and meet him. Like when Dis, like right after Disneyland opened. I think it would just be. It would be really interesting to hear his perspective on like what his company is and what his company means to him. I don't know. I think it, it would be really incredible to uh, to sit down with him and just have a conversation about um, Disney and what that means. And probably also um, I said this in my intro video. I'd want to talk to uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Well, you said Martin Luther, so I'm going to have to say Gandhi. Okay. Um, just for very similar reasons. Just like, you know, because I, I agree with like what you said about like like asking Martin Luther and Gandhi about like daily battles and stuff. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's yeah. really good and really applicable to like somebody like me that lives like day to day and how to get through things like that. Also about just like just in general how to deal with um, oppression and how to do it in a healthy manner that doesn't mm. harm other people. Because I feel like today it's we kind of deal with oppression by like pushing back and that's not always the best thing to do. Also, um, I don't know, I'd probably want uh, to be a little sad, but I want to go back and meet my grandfather that I didn't get to meet. Mm. My grandfather died when I was three and he was like, apparently he was like the most amazing man in the world, so it'd be really nice to go back and meet him. His name was Jack. Okay. Jack Lamar. And this question is near and dear to my heart. But what is your friend's favorite kind of sandwich? A Reuben. On rye. Okay. Mustard, sauerkraut, Thousand Island, Swiss, and then you have some, uh, what is it? Corned beef. Mm -hmm. Heated up, toasted, um, toasted bread. I will straight up go for a Jimmy John's uh, Beach Club. I want to say it's the number 12, which is really <laughs> upsetting that I know the number. Um, the number 12, but you have to add bacon and a little extra, uh, a little extra mayo on that sandwich because then it just makes it great. I'm also very fond of BLTs, but with turkey, mm. with turkey bacon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds... A little bit of mustard. Yeah. And a little bit of mayo and it's like, it's so good. What was your best friend's favorite show as a child? Um, that's hard. Um, I would actually have to tie this one. Okay. Well, if you um, have multiples, like, go for it. I mean, they were all three. I watched all three religiously. All right, so Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm. Of course. Um, Naruto. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Okay. I could quote Ed, like, dumb Ed. I could quote... <laughs> Tartar sauce. I could quote, like, all of his lines. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just, I was just, like, a dumb little kid. I guess my favorite... TV show, like of all time, for a while, as a, a kid, was that so Raven? I really enjoyed it. Raven Simone was like the epitome of com comedy to me as a kid, and I'm realizing now that that was a wild like. I was I was very very wrong. <laughs> I think that's all we needed from that's this. All we needed. Yeah. That's um, a good question. Yeah. I know Cody a little bit better, and uh, Cody knows me a little bit better, and that yeah. is what the, the goal this, yeah. was. That's what the goal was. If you guys liked this video, uh, be sure to like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't put out a video in like a week. 
It's fine. I've just been really busy lately, so... Um, Finals and all. Yeah, you know, they're coming up and whatnot. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I've just been busy with school. But, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'll leave uh, links to um, some other stuff in the down bar down there. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Peace. I went to an, on a college visit and did a voice lesson out there, and that doesn't technically count because I didn't study with that, the lady with. You did the thing again.